is Kenya's President Ruto's recent dealings with Ukraine posed to be a total miscalculation or wise move? Is he trading on shaky grounds? Is he biting off more than he can chew? And most importantly, could this new deal bring the specter of war to Kenya? We'll dive right into it, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. So, folks, President William Ruto has been making some bold moves on the international stage lately. One of the most striking developments is his new deal with Ukraine. Now, on the surface, forging international partnerships can be a positive thing, right? But here's the question, is President Ruto fully aware of the implications and potential risks associated with this deal? Let's be honest, Ukraine is no lightweight player in the world of geopolitics. It's been at the center of a tense standoff between Russia and the West for years. President Ruto, on the other hand, has limited experience in international diplomacy and Kenya has traditionally followed a more neutral stance in global conflicts. So, it's fair to ask, is he potentially swallowing more than he can chew? Now, here's where it gets even trickier. Russia has imposed sanctions on Ukraine due to their ongoing conflict, and they take these sanctions very seriously. If President Ruto's deal with Ukraine were to violate any of these sanctions, it could spell trouble for Kenya. Russia is known for its assertive foreign policy, and violating their sanctions might result in unintended consequences. One of the gravest concerns is the potential for the situation to escalate into a larger conflict. Russia has a history of aggressive responses to perceived threats to its interests. So, why is President Ruto said to be stepping on a line? Wire. The concern arises from the intricate web of international agreements and geopolitical tensions surrounding grain trade. Notably, Putin's Russia refused to renew the grain agreement with Ukraine when it expired in July, citing the alleged unfulfillment of a parallel deal that promised to remove obstacles to Russian exports of food and fertilizer. Moscow contended that shipping and insurance restrictions hampered its agricultural trade, despite record wheat shipments in the past year. This grain agreement, officially known as the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, holds paramount importance for global trade. It governs various aspects, including navigation, fisheries, and resource exploitation in the Black Sea region. The Black Sea serves as a vital transportation corridor connecting Europe to the Middle East, facilitating the movement of goods and resources. So, why does the Black Sea deal matter to global trade? The answer lies in the Black Sea's role as a crucial link in connecting landlocked nations to global markets. Countries like Ukraine heavily rely on the Black Sea for the export of vital agricultural products, including grains and oilseeds. Moreover, the region serves as a conduit for energy resources such as oil and natural gas, which are transported to various parts of the world. The potential abolition of the Black Sea deal by Russia disrupt established norms and regulations governing maritime trade in the region, with far-reaching consequences for export and import activities. What about the initiative that moved millions of metric tons of Ukrainian agricultural exports via the Black Sea? This initiative, brokered by the United Nations and Turkey in July 2022, facilitated the movement of more than 32 million metric tons of Ukrainian agricultural exports through the Black Sea, with nearly 19 million metric tons destined for developing countries. It showcased the significance of the Black Sea in global trade. And here, we have President Ruto and Zelensky of Ukraine poking Russia's nose. Indeed, the establishment of a grain hub in the port of Mombasa is seen as an audacious move that challenges Russia's restrictions on grain trade. This hub aims to streamline the importation and distribution of grain, ensuring a more stable and reliable food supply for East African nations. The urgency of this initiative is underscored by recent events in Ukraine. Following Russia's invasion in February 2022, there has been a shortage of grains in global markets, straining food supplies in regions reliant on Ukrainian grain. President Ruto has expressed his country's commitment to advocating for a peaceful resolution to the Russia-Ukraine conflict. What's Ukraine's plan to tackle food insecurity in Africa? Ukraine, a major supplier of grain to Africa, has unveiled a plan to establish grain hubs not only in Kenya but also in other parts of Africa to address food insecurity. President Volodymyr Zelensky's office announced this plan after meetings with his Kenyan and South African counterparts in New York. This move comes in response to concerns raised when Russia withdrew from a scheme that allowed the export of food from Ukraine, leading to worries about grain shortages on the African continent. What consequences have arisen since Russia's invasion of Ukraine? Global grain prices have surged since Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February last year. This conflict has disrupted global grain markets, impacting the availability and affordability of grains worldwide. As President Ruto and President Zelensky navigate the complex terrain of international grain trade, they must tread carefully, considering the geopolitical implications and the urgent need to ensure food security in East Africa.